Hi, I am Dr. Mesa. I am a gynecologist. I work for a military hospital that works with obstetrics, but primarily from the ages of 20 to 40 years old. The case I have today has to do with etheroblastosis fetalis that occurs in pregnant women in my facility. Over the past three years, I have seen 400 cases out of 1,000 that poses etheroblastosis fetalis. What it is is when the father has RH positive and the mother has RH negative blood and they have a baby for the first time, that fetus will have RH positive that causes the mother's blood to create antibodies against the fetus's blood. This can cause he hemolysis, which can result in killing the fetus. Some of the symptoms for the fetus after birth would be they would look swollen, pale, or jaundiced. Um, they could have a large liver or spleen, have anemia, or a low red blood cell count. The two treatments I believe that should happen would be the fetal blood transfusion, uh, sometimes a delivery at 32 to 35 weeks. These treatments are due to the fact that this will help the mother delivery without complications and allowing the fetus to not be attacked by any more antibodies, that would be the fetal transfusion. Um, early delivery is recommended if there is any continuing evidence of severe fetal anemia. The treatment length varies on the fetus severity uh, in the womb and if the blood transfusion works correctly. There can be a first transfusion at the weeks of 23 and 24, uh, but then they can also be at weeks 32 to 35. The patient we have today is a 28-year-old middle-class Caucasian woman who is 30 weeks pregnant, who also has a past history of hypertension, was diagnosed with etherobastosis fetalis after having blood work done. Uh, the patient's count of antibodies have increased due to the RH plus fetus, therefore she must have a blood transfusion for the fetus or have an early delivery. After the fetus is born, there will be more blood transfusion depending on the condition of the baby. So my recommendation for awareness is that there should be more advertisement about the disorder. So future parents wanting to have a children know what they are going to get into. Also, I believe that both, par both partners should take a blood test before they want to conceive a baby. This will help notify them what they could happen to them. Um, what is important for other health professionals to know when dealing with this diagnosis would be to understand what you're treating and to let your patient know what could happen and the risks. Uh, what needs to be solved is still a way to help the fetus and their parents in an easier way that does not consist of so many risks such as a fetal death. Thank you.